guys, what's up? You're welcome to another episode of Bed with Ben Hini. Oh, I miss you guys so much. Virtual hugs. <laughs> um, but you're welcome to yet another episode of Bed with Ben Hini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, what do you do? what it do um so i just wanted to say that i am working on i've been away for a while when it comes to content for bed with ben Hine, and that's because i did take a break yes my brain had to take a break um and then also i've been working on getting the audio version of my podcast for spotify podcast so that's exciting so very soon you guys are going to be getting the audio version as well on um, Spotify so that if you're on the run you know you can exactly catch up with the video podcast you can always catch our audio podcast on Spotify as and when it's ready so I will let you know but you're welcome to another episode don't forget to like share and subscribe all of that good stuff Today's episode is exciting. Um, it's the very first episode of our season two. I just wanted to say that um, this is going to be the start of our season two um, Bed with Behini series. Yeah. Just a quick disclaimer, we have, I'm using the natural light. So if you see that influx of lightning or that, you know, the light changes, that's just God doing his own thing, all right? I have no control over that but i also wanted to say that there is some construction going on there's pretty much always construction going on in my area because i live um in like an industrial area like the companies around me so there's always some sort of action going on so if you hear anything please try to ignore it's either my baby or it's construction so in today's episode i am talking about self-sabotage and um just basically ways that you can help or you can basically ways that you can deal with self-sabotage if that's something that you deal with a lot so and i this topic is actually very dear and near to my heart because i told you guys that i've been away for a while and i haven't just been away because i haven't been filming or i haven't had content to film or anything um like a huge part of the reason why i've been away is because i've been also dealing with life issues not just like life issues but just going through adulting and making life decision adulthood decisions and also um getting in my head about a lot of things and i feel like that's why i actually put down this episode because i am currently or was currently at a stage in my life where trust me i was pushing things away because i felt like i wasn't worthy of these things now just a quick um explanation of self-sabotage for anyone who doesn't exactly know or understand what self-sabotage is so google says self-sabotage it refers to the act of undermining one's own goals success or well-being due to negative thoughts behaviors and beliefs so let me break that down for you um self-sabotage an example can be that you literally don't see yourself as like you're worthy of anything so you're constantly downplaying your efforts you're constantly seeing that some things uh, like some people are worthy of some things and you are not worthy of these things a big example would be that um, even when you have like a win like when you have a goal an achievement or something and then you hit that goal you still don't see it as anything you still don't see that you did the job you don't see that that's a win that is self-sabotaging or when you're like you have an opportunity that is being presented to you or you know you're looking forward to this opportunity and you keep down talking yourself or downplaying yourself and you keep saying all these like negative things to yourself about how you're not worthy or about how um how like why is this thing coming to you that is self-sabotage that is you self-sabotaging yourself this is nobody doing it to you you're doing it to your own self so generally self-sabotage is that negative self-talk that we give to ourselves. that feeling of i am not worthy of this thing you know that feeling of everybody else deserves it but me everybody else deserves to win by me you know yes that is self-sabotage self-sabotage is where you see everybody's win as oh wow she did that but you will do the same thing and you're not going to give yourself the same accolade that you gave your friend 
yes that is you um self-sabotaging yourself okay so generally one thing with self-sabotage that i think i personally come to learn is it hinders you from like you know attracting things into your life or from opening up to opportunities because hear me out if you see yourself as invaluable you see yourself as you don't deserve this you see yourself as this thing is too big for me it's too too big an opportunity to come my way you're gonna keep brushing off all these opportunities you're going to keep shying away from things that you actually should be doing you know you're going to keep downplaying your own potential and you know the power that you have as a person you're not going to see that full potential because you see yourself as this thing is a thing that i can't even do or this is a thing that i don't deserve to be doing or this is a thing that well, well why would that come to me you know so self-sabotage it doesn't it doesn't let you grow as a person and i'm not even gonna lie guys i got to a stage in my life which not so long ago like i got to a stage in my life where i felt like i was at a very dark the light just keeps going in and out and i know that it will kind of mess with it but i'm hoping that it doesn't it's not crazy okay because it, it could be crazy but I'm hoping that it's not extremely crazy. Um, I got to like a very dark, dark spot in my life. And let me, just a quick story. Um, I quit working my current job or the job that I was working a few months ago. And um, I had a whole plan in my head, you know. You know, as an adult, you don't just make decisions. You make decisions with plans. So I had my own plans. I came home. You know, idiot, I'm, I'm trying to look for a new job and whatnot, and I am still not getting the job. And in my head, I start to say all these things to my head. I mean, I start to say all these things to myself. And guys, when I get into that stage where, like, I am declining, that's how I call it. I'm literally declining, like, mentally, I'm declining. I'm mentally exhausted. And it's not even anything around me that is me. I'm just mentally drained. When I get to that stage, I legit would self-sabotage every time like it's so bad like I don't want to look at anybody's Instagram because I will start getting those negative self self talks or self thoughts um, and I have been there I've been there and it's nasty it's not nice and when you start to feel like that you actually tend to believe certain things you tend to believe that well maybe I this I don't deserve for this to um, I mean I don't deserve for this to happen to me or I don't deserve to get this kind of opportunity or maybe these people deserve to get it but not me it put me in a very dark place I'm not gonna lie I don't think I want to go back there and I don't think I want to see anybody go back there but just that transitioning from you know like trying to i mean leaving my job coming home looking for another job and i'm not the type i'm not the type to be idle i'm not the type to not be doing something i'm always doing something and that's just who i am i'm always busy i'm always doing something so just that time of looking for a job and not getting a job and having all these employers send me a message and turning me down it was literally messing with my mentals and it took me to a stage where i would self-sabotage literally everything i would have an opportunity in my email and then i'll be like you know what i really don't even you know like i just kept brushing things off things that could have or would have been like a good opportunity i just brushed it off and it's a dark place okay so one thing um while i was on this journey of trying to like heal myself from this phase of self-sabotage that i was in one thing that i realized was that recognizing that you're actually in the face like identifying you know you, know, you have to be able to see the patterns and be able to deal with it you have to be able to recognize that you're actually self-sabotaging and i'm gonna go through a few tips with you um on how i have been able to at least help myself and you know a few things that i've learned over the time whilst working on my habits of self-sabotaging because this is something again that i have been dealing with so the first thing that i would say is just like i said the first step for me was becoming aware okay you know just the knowing that i'm going into a certain pattern that i didn't like or i've seen these mood changes i've seen this um negative behavior with myself that i don't think i like 
you know so so the first step for me i would say is to become aware of the change in patterns notice the negative self talks notice the times that you're always downplaying your efforts notice the things that you do for people that you don't do for yourself okay notice how many times you are quick to jump up at somebody else's win and how you don't do that for yourself how you don't have that same energy for yourself when you become aware of all these traits you start to see that you or at least that tells you that you're slowly falling into um the habit of self-sabotage which is not good so become aware first start by becoming aware okay so point number two is identifying your triggers and this is key to me because i knew what my triggers was okay and um i low-key know what to say but also this is all about having honest conversations so i would say um a typical example for me would be as a social media content creator i've been doing this for quite a while um i can say for a good nine years okay on and off for nine years but um also you know when you get to a certain stage in your life you obviously expect certain things to come to you certain you expect you know you know you expect to hit some milestones you expect to work with some brands and whatnot a huge trigger for me would be going on social media scrolling and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna try and sit here and act like i'm miss perfect okay but struggling i mean like scrolling through social media you know seeing all these other wins for other people <laughs> and i'm thinking to myself well don't i deserve something like that to happen to me and even asking that question is not the problem the problem now becomes i start to think that i really and truly don't deserve those things to happen to me because if i did deserve them they would have happened to me a long time ago when i started to tell myself that i realized that no you don't want to tell yourself that you don't want to get to the stage where you feel like you really and truly don't deserve good things to happen to you just because they haven't happened over a span of time or just because they've happened for some people faster than they're happening for you and just i started realizing that i was saying way too many negative things to myself especially when i would scroll too much on social media i'm not gonna lie so for my own mental health i decided that i was going to unfollow um a few number of people um and this wasn't because you know like i had a problem with them or anything no but just so that i am not coming from a place of being judgmental and um i'm still on the journey of like working on myself when it comes to self-sabotage so i'm not gonna say that i'm fully perfect or i've like fully healed from that um journey but i know for a fact that i have definitely left the stage where i was only saying negative things to myself where i would not even see the light in any day like every day was just doomed for me i would just go with the day i will wake up do my duties as i'm supposed to when i say my duties like as a mom as a wife i was literally seeing them as like duties that i had to do and then i would just do them and then just sit and feel so blare like i felt so dark um, just felt like nothing i'm not gonna lie i felt really in a dark place and um that led me to doing a lot more self-sabotaging than i had ever done in my life so this episode i'm not gonna lie i really needed to share it with myself and with somebody out there so i'll say that again the second point is identifying something that triggers you to feel like that something that triggers you to say negative things to yourself it could be someone it could be something it could be um you know it could be anything but just identify that trigger make sure that you're reducing that interaction that you have with that trigger or you're finding a way to you know change your relationship with with, with whatever your um with whatever your trigger point is all right the third point for me would be that you need to start challenging yourself when you get into the stage where you're doing all these negative self-talks okay because it's just something that you're saying to yourself it doesn't mean that that's the truth okay that's one thing that i said the fact that um i am waiting for something to happen so bad and the fact that it hasn't happened doesn't exactly mean that i don't deserve for that thing to happen to me okay and i had to tell myself that nobody's gonna come and tell you that maybe me 
I would tell you right now, but nobody else is going to come and tell you that, okay? You need to be able to challenge some of the negative self-talks that you, um, you say to yourself. So when I say that, sometimes like i never believed that i could even hit 1000 subscribers on youtube and i'm not i'm not even kidding it took me over nine years on youtube to be able to accumulate a thousand subscribers so within that nine year period i felt like I was probably never going to get it i'm not gonna lie i felt like i was probably never going to get it and even now that i'm there i still have more goals and i feel i keep feeling like you know it's taking forever for me to get to these goals but one way that i challenge um all those negative talks or the negative thoughts that will come into my head is that i would look at my other achievements i would look at my other wins i think that's a very good way to challenge your negative self talks you know once you start feeling like well i don't deserve for this thing to happen to me look at another thing that happened to you that you felt like well how on earth did this happen to me or how on earth did this happen for me look at that other thing and say that as long as this that i thought could never happen for me or as long as i got this opportunity that i thought i could never get i can get every opportunity in the world okay that's how you challenge um whatever negative thoughts that you have look at your wins no matter how big no matter how small no matter how you know what opportunity it is that you might have gotten in the past as long as you've gotten some opportunity as long as you've gotten you've done something that you felt like i could have never done this or i don't know how on earth this came to me that's the same way how on earth big things will come to you okay like that's the same way all these other opportunities will come to you so my third point will be that you have to challenge yourself when you start to think negatively and you have to be able to push those thoughts out of your head just by thinking the positive ones okay and then um my fourth point which is honestly a point to myself okay and i'm pretty sure to anybody who else who thinks like me would be it uh would be to set realistic goals i've come to realize that setting goals that are just unrealistic or that take a longer time to achieve might get you in a place of self-sabotaging honestly imagine if you had clear precise goals um straight to the point goals that you know that you can very much achieve imagine if you had that it'll be very easier for you to achieve that because you know that when you put two and two together you can achieve goal number one goal number two goal number three but if you go and set all these big goals for yourself that you know see guys let's just be honest with ourselves there are some things that we know that are far beyond our reach even though we know that we're capable of doing it we know that it might take a longer time or we know that it might take a lot more resources to achieve that goal you know that it's like it's something that we know okay so just generally setting realistic goals will help you to achieve your goals even faster and will make you believe in yourself as a person setting all these goals that are really big and just unrealistic will keep you self-sabotaging because you keep thinking well how why haven't i gotten this goal well why haven't i achieved that because you don't have the resources to get there because you don't even have the strength you don't have a plan your current life or your current circumstance is not gonna let you get there so be real be, be like be real with yourself set up a good goal set up a goal that you know that it's within your reach you can very easily achieve and trust me little goals like that will sum up to be your big goal you can very easily do little by little by little and then you can get to the big one make sure that you're setting realistic goals goals that you know um that are easily achievable at least for you for your strengths for um the resources that you have in the given time just so that you don't put yourself in a place where you're constantly feeling um or belittling yourself or feeling less of yourself or feeling like maybe that goal is too big that's why you're never going to get it or maybe that goal is too big for you so it's never going to get to you no it's just because it's unrealistic all right so set realistic goals for yourself now my next point um is 
by practicing self-compassion i had to like say that well <laughs> but just like being compassionate with yourself okay you have to give yourself grace the same way see let me tell you that same way that when a friend comes to you and they try to tell you their losses or they try to tell you you know things that don't go so well for them the same way that you're always there for them you know a shoulder to cry on i'm going to be that friend for you why don't you be that friend for yourself imagine imagine if you could say the same things that you said to your friends if they're going through things if you could say the same thing that you say to them to yourself imagine how that will make you feel because i know me okay if a friend comes to me with some sort of like some sort of thing that you're going through in their life i know that i'm going to find the best kind of words to tell them i know that i'm going to give them the most comforting advice because i know myself i am literally the queen of communication like i pride myself in communication and you know just being able to communicate well okay <laughs> i know that if a friend comes to me with some sort of like life experience or some self-sabotage experience i know exactly how i'm going to approach that i know that i'm never going to let you feel bad about yourself i know that i will say positive things to my friend so why don't i just say all of those things to myself when i'm going through these things so my fifth point is definitely practicing that self-compassion giving yourself that grace all those kind words that you would originally say to your friend in need you are going to be that friend in need today okay you are going to be the friend in need share those words to yourself be nice to yourself give you your own like give yourself love give yourself attention so practice positive self talks to yourself and then also um give yourself some self-compassion or give yourself some compassion all right but so last but not the least i'm going to say that um you have to find a way to deal with your stress okay because i found out that if i'm stressed out like days when i'm overwhelmed when i have a lot of things to do or when i built an extensive to-do list for myself and i'm literally swimming in to-do lists and i'm tired <laughs> Cause i do that to myself but i have days when i'm stressed out i'm pmsing hormones are all over the place um you know you have to find a way to deal with yourself on those days because as humans we're naturally going to be stressed we're going to have days where we're off and on i say that every time like i have my off days and i have my on days on those days you want to find what i call a coping mechanism so um, it could be watching your favorite series, anything that keeps you lightheaded, anything that um, brings your mood up for me will be music. I love music. So anything that you find that can help you cope with stress, I think do that and instead don't think too much about like and don't think too much about achievements and all of that when you're stressed out. It's not a good thing to do. It's not a good look for you sis that's all i want to say it's not a good look for you okay so on the days that you're stressed because i know that on the days that i'm stressed out mentally if i do too much thinking or if i'm doing too much i'm just going to be very easily irritated by everything everybody around me like everybody around me is just so annoying on that day and i'm not gonna lie so i find that music for me is such a mood booster i don't know how it does it but pairing music with maybe a bath time routine that would instantly make me feel better about myself okay and i can't even really find another example because personally it's just music that works um i would love to watch a series or whatnot but music i find out what music does for me when my mood is down i nothing much nothing pretty much nothing does it for me okay yes. and my last point would be um to hold yourself accountable okay whenever you're drifting into all these like negative behaviors or negative self talks and self thoughts um try to find a way to pull yourself out of it okay sometimes you have to be able to tell yourself that yo what you're saying is not cool okay you won't say that to a friend so why are you saying that to yourself really <laughs> if you won't say that to your friend if you're misses over nice every day to your friends and to yourself you're always being negative always saying these like really bad stuff to yourself and downplaying all these like blessings that could possibly come to you 
it's not a good it's not a good look so you have to be able to hold yourself accountable tell yourself um that no i'm not gonna allow you to say that to me sometimes i talk to myself like two people okay um and i think that that helps also so you can talk to yourself hold yourself accountable if you do have someone who could be an accountability partner for you share your goals with them um you know talk to someone who can sometimes talking to people definitely help people who are like-minded it definitely helps so talk to someone if you want to or try to find um try to find a way to hold yourself accountable and I just also wanted to say that I want you to remember that self-sabotage is not something that you should take lightly okay it's something that can mess you up for a long time if you if you don't even identify that you're going through that pattern so it, it's a whole journey you're going to be you know working learning and unlearning things people's journey are going to be different from yours so give yourself grace keep on learning as you go find a way to cope with the stress when it comes around talk positively to yourself i feel like that is key that everybody deserves every kind of blessing that comes okay everybody deserves every kind of blessing that is out there in this world every good thing that you see you deserve it too okay every good thing that you see happening to everybody you deserve it too and it can happen to you too so don't stop working don't stop putting in that work don't stop pushing and don't stop being the best version of yourself all right i love you guys so much thank you so much for always coming here and thank you so much for clicking the video i hope you enjoyed comment below if you have any questions anything any concerns comment below let us know but this is the end of today's episode thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode bye <laughs>